Uh, and we're live. Woo. What's up, guys uh, and girls, people, persons? This is Joshua from the Thrifting Lounge. Uh, got Kevin and Ronnie Hart on here as well. Um, and I guess we kind of decided right before he clicked go live that we're going to try to kind of do a shorter video and just show you some of the things that have sold in the last uh, week for us. Um, I've also got a little trick with Amazon that I want to show you as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a few brands that are not unpopular or uncommon, but we don't really talk about them a whole lot um, in the thrifting lounge. <clears throat> the first one here is, can you see the whole screen, Kevin? Yeah, you're perfect. Okay. So the first one is C.C. Filson. Um, it's similar to kind of like Patagonia and Columbia um, – Origin, I guess, uh, but it's a lot of really nice, heavy-duty outdoor <clears throat> uh, clothing brand, and I don't think they make too much equipment. I've never found any equipment, um, and on their website, it's more geared towards like the guy who's going to drive the BMW to the mountains and go skiing on his $1,400 pair of skis. I mean, it's really expensive stuff. Like this, the retail for this shirt here. Um, I think was 162. I mean, it's really high, but it's like a super thick, stiff flannel cotton. Um, I bought this for five dollars and sold it for 45 in about eight hours, six, seven or eight hours. It sells really quickly. Um, so anything you can pick up that's CC Filson, uh, grab it. Again, this is an extra large, which is not necessarily a you know, it's not a really big size, which sells better, but even the mediums and smalls I've had in this stuff sell super quick. Um, Kevin, you want me to just go through all the mine real quick? Or? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I've already got them up, so we'll do that. Uh, another one is Cabela's, which everybody's familiar with Cabela's. Uh, this was titled as a safari shirt. It's got the roll-up sleeves that button on the side, and it's got the two chest pockets. Um, and this is just like a normal thickness cotton shirt, nothing really special about it. This was a 3X uh, extra large tall. Um, best offer accepted, I don't even remember what I what I sold it for. Sold it for 30, had it listed for, what was that, 45? Yeah. 49. Um, this set for about two weeks or so. <clears throat> um, and the main reason I sold it for 30 is because I paid 50 cents for it. <clears throat> but again, look out for Cabela's. Big sizes obviously sell better. Um, but this is a really popular style with the roll-up sleeves, the button, um, and the two chest pockets. You know, a lot of people use them for fishing. This actually has the third, uh, third pocket as well on the right above the left chest pocket, which is kind of handy. Now, what does the label say? Is it say <coughs> Safari? Um, no, it doesn't. It just says uh, Cabela's on it. Is all that it ever says. Okay, that's cool. Um, again, it's really just the style of the shirt that you're pointing out. It's not. Um, it's not the the collection or the model of the actual shirt. You know, it's not a Cabela Safari shirt. Yeah. It's just kind of that's the style. Um, another brand here is Prana P R A N A. Um, they started out making yoga stuff, and they still make a lot of yoga um, yoga apparel, but they also make a lot of rock climbing stuff. Uh, so if you're gonna list something with Prana, I think one of the really good keywords is, is climbing or rock climbing um, because a lot of people in that community buy Prana. These are just some corduroy, corduroy climbing pants. Um, paid like six bucks for them, sold them for, uh, sold them for nine ninety nine. These actually set for a while. Um, <clears throat> they're women's pants, and I'm not sure why they set for so long, but I put them on an auction after having them listed for probably two months, um, and they sold for nine ninety nine. But typically, all the Prana that I've ever had sells really well. Um, I would say that the shirts are ten times as, uh, as popular as the pants are. <clears throat> so again, I'm not really 100% sure why this took so long to sell and why it only sold for ninety nine uh, or nine ninety nine. Um, but typically, it's a really good brand to look out for, especially the, the long sleeve hoodies. Um, and the kind of stretchy pants for like yoga and stuff are really popular. Like the spandex, they make spandex. Yeah, they make some spandex type stuff. Um, you know, they're just basically yoga pants, but they're sixty or seventy dollars retail, kind of like Lululemon in the sense. But the, this Prana company has the outdoor uh, outdoor collection as well, or outdoor side of them that they make. Uh, you know, really rugged stuff for <clears throat> a lot of um, pants that are really hard to tear because they 
you know, uh, creating for climbers uh, you know, on the rocks and stuff like that. So, anyway, be on the lookout for that. Uh, Vans, so this is actually called the, it's called Skate High, SK and the number 8, H-I. Um, this is probably the seventh or eighth pair of these I've sold in the last two months. Um, I've been sourcing these from Nordstrom Rack because sometimes they'll be on sale for nine, $9.90. Um, but any of these that, are, that look really, I don't want to say hippie, but I mean hippish, you know, like hipsterish, whatever you want to call it. Um, this kind of has like a, a Indian motif on the, on the top or Aztec or something. Um, but they sell within a week every single time. So that's $50 profit, you know, $52, $53 profit every time. Um, these are new with tags, but they don't have the actual retail tags on them. They just have the, the ortho light, which is the material they use on the inside of it. But yeah, vans sell really good, especially if they're new or if they're really old. Um, the vintage stuff sells, sells really, really well. I heard, I thought, do what? I heard the, the made United States ones are the ones I really look for because they're yeah. really good. Yeah, and the high tops as well. The high tops sell so much better than, than low tops or the slipper type uh, design. And uh, the last thing that I really want to show you guys was how to – how to you know how we always look on eBay at like what sold for how much and kind of get an idea looking through the solds of what's popular. Well, there's a way you can sort of do that with Amazon as well. If you go in and you type in, uh, I just typed in Mr. Coffee Machine just because I uh, kind of found out about this trick while searching for that. But just click on any item. Doesn't matter what the item is, and there might even be an easier way to go do this. But if you scroll down some, you're gonna see. Um, the Amazon Best Seller Rank. This is 31 in Kitchen and Dining, which is super good. That probably – the one I had sold in two days, so I would say probably a week or two at the most is as long as it's going to sit. But just to the right of that, there's a link that says see top 100 in Kitchen and Dining. So if we click on that, we can see the top 100 products um, in, in the Kitchen and Dining uh, category. So this is some kind of Nordic Ware microwave egg boiler, uh, pineapple – Basically, it's like a pineapple tap. Um, this is a pasta machine or a pasta world cuisine pasta machine. So you can kind of get an idea of what you know what you might want to keep your eye out for at a thrift store. Granted, you're not probably going to find these exact items with these uh, of these specific brands and models and stuff. But I see a ton of glass uh, measuring cups, and I see a ton of Brita filters. So, you know, just knowing that those things are in the top 100, I mean, this is ranked number five. This is ranked number nine. Like, that's going to sell quick. Um, not a huge not a huge profit potential for these, but, you know, if you buy enough of them, you can, you can do pretty well. So um, I would advise you to just go through and look up whatever um, – Whatever you're looking at, just go to that section and look at the top 100. I just typed in snapback hat. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to give me a rank and all. Sometimes it doesn't give you a rank. Yeah, here we go. Well, that's still in the home and kitchen, which absolutely make, makes no sense. Why would hat be in home and kitchen? Because you have the search code and you left. See that? Next to the search, it says home and kitchen. Yep. All the things. Yeah. <clears throat> Why is that even showing up? That's weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, so now we will see uh, top 100 in clothing. <clears throat> so again, you can get an idea. A uh, U.S. Polo Association, really? That's number one. Yeah. Carhartt shirts. Um, again, some of these uh, some of these categories you're going to have to be either grandfathered in or approved uh, by Amazon to sell. So don't go out and just buy everything and expect to sell on Amazon because they're getting really picky about what. What they let people sell. Um, well, clothing you have to get um, verified or to sell on. I know that much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, it's not easy. That's what I heard. Yeah, I've heard it's really hard to get into clothing. Um, and I know they just changed the groceries. Uh, if you've been selling groceries, then you're grandfathered in. But if you're not, it's kind of difficult to, to get permission to sell that stuff too. So, anyway, that's a couple of items and a little trick uh, for Amazon. So. Hopefully that helps somebody <clears throat> in some way. And I'll let you guys pick up from there. Whoever's whoever's next. Do you want to go? Right, do you want to go next, Ronnie? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Um, you spelled my name wrong in the thing too. I just noticed. Four. What did I write? How do you spell it? H A R T. 
Oh, it is. I, I but that is here or there. We'll move on from there. Just to let everybody know, I'm Ronnie Hart. We have a YouTube channel, Hart's Motor Company, to find us there. And also Sundays, 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific. You can fill in the time in the middle. Pickers Church with uh, Chad Pagel, Florida Pick and Queen, Justin Starcher, Square Deal Guy, and Jesse Forbes. Okay, let's see what I got. Uh, screen share. How the hell do you do the screen share thing? Uh, click on that green icon on the left. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I figured it again. Nice. All right. We don't want to look at him. Not really. <laughs> All right. This was a tie I sold. This sold pretty quick, probably two or three days. Seventy. Huh? That's six. Seventy eight dollars in a tie. That's nice. Yeah. This What's was the... a Turnbull and Asser. Mm. It was um had a nice design as you see there, just like red, white, and blue. Has a, like a darker blue and light blue and red. I picked that up for like two or three dollars as savers. Um, that sold pretty quickly. Uh, I found this at a yard sale. Any Tyco um, vintage toys from the 90s, the radio control cars, do okay. Um, this did not work as I did not have the battery. I found this for a dollar at a yard sale. And it was kind of scuffed, uh, scuffed up. Untested, didn't work, didn't have the battery, and it still sold sold within about a day for $55. And this actually went to Canada. Nice. So I've sold some for upwards of like two and three hundred dollars if they were new in the packaging and everything. So um, not all of them do well, but a lot of them do well. So you kind of want to look out for the vintage Tyco radio control cars from the nineties. Yeah, that um, that um, remote control looks like from the early early nineties. Yeah, I think it was from ninety one or ninety two. Uh, I remember seeing those when I was young. Uh, this was probably the best sale I had of the week. It was a Ralph, uh, Ralph Lauren Polo. It was made by Corn, Cornelius and whatever that is. That was It's a soup brand. They made these made in Italy. It was 100% wool. had these metal um, buttons. It's like a blazer. Um, so it took about a week to sell. I picked that up for like 10 bucks. That sold pretty quick. Yeah, that's quick for a blazer. Sport coat. Some sell, you know, it just, it just depends. There's certain blazers I'll pick up that almost sell within a week, and then there's others I know I'm going to have to sit on. I've kind of gotten used to them because I've sold them probably upwards of like two years now. So yeah. I'm kind of familiar with which ones are going to sit, which ones aren't. You know, I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning buying, uh, you know, the often suit jackets and everything. So. Mm -hmm. You'll live and learn, you know. Uh, this was another decent sale I got. Dale of Norway um, sweater. I've had this for a while listed. This was probably listed for like six months. It, it's actually it's sold and went to France. These are high-end, like, Norwegian sweaters. I think they made Norway, actually. Yeah, Dale of Norway, of course. Um. I paid a lot. I paid like twenty for this too. But where where'd you get it at? Goodwill, I believe. Okay. I picked up a bunch. I, I in like a few weeks' time, so I'm not exactly sure. I know I paid twenty for one. I paid five for a few, so I'm not really sure which which one this was. But I believe I sold them a couple. <laughs> um, last one will be this. Um, Paradise Found. This was made famous by uh, Magnum P.I. in the 80s. This was the, the Zach shirt that he wears. That print is called uh, Jungle Birds. <laughs> yeah, so my Magnum, uh, mine last, no, about a week and a half ago, it went for 45 and it was a, uh, it was a small. It still sold for 45 Yeah, this one overseas too. This one I think went to France too. France or Spain. Paradise Found's a really good Hawaiian company uh, shirt. Yeah. This print with the parrot sells, I believe, the best. Like, if you find it, even in the black, it'll sell good. Um, some of the other prints sell, some don't. You kind of have to, you know, it has, you know, it just, it's, I've bought a bunch thinking everything in that brand sells well. And some do, some don't. And the way to tell if these are vintage is look at the tag here. 
And where it says Honolulu, Hawaii, it'll actually have the website address on the newer ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, have, that's, I have one that says Paradise Found. I also have an old vintage one that says Made in Paradise, which is Paradise Found. Yeah. Ronnie, do you know what year they changed that to the website? Probably late 90s, probably. I'm guessing, you know, when everybody started having websites and places to buy it. I'm not exactly sure when, but if yeah. I had to guess, I'd probably say then. Gotcha. So that's my five. Passing on to Kevin, unless anybody has any questions. Yeah, are there any questions popping up in the... Yeah, uh, let me check right now. There's a bunch of... You guys have got the questions? I'm not yeah. looking at there's not much there. There's a lot of back and forth with everybody. I think we're okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go. I'll screen share. You just click on my box. Here I am. All right, here we go. Let me know if you guys see it. Yep. All right, so these are... One of the, I have two pairs of Zanellas. This is one of them. I always grab slacks. Like whenever I go into um, the store, um, I'll go look at the sport coats first, then the dress shirts, and then I'll hit the slacks. Um, so this is one of the ones that was in my Memorial Day haul. Actually, there's a few in here that was from my Memorial Day haul. And um, I mean, I spent like three hundred dollars, and I've just about already made my money back in like I think six or seven items. Um, so I got these. I, I took the best offer of forty dollars, and it's actually going to a um, a guy out in uh, Los Angeles that's actually has his own law firm in on Wilshire Boulevard, and um, which is like where all like the big wigs of like the, the Hollywood Hollywood execs and stuff are. Um, so I'm sure someone rich really bought these. So anyways, um, I got these for three sixty nine, and I sold them for forty bucks. And they lasted about you know I think about a week. For less, and they put ship on them, so you know it's like forty dollars minus like five forty, so it comes to like thirty four dollars. Um, so the Duncans, and these brand new actually retail for about three hundred ninety eight dollars. Yeah, I um I looked them up. Is that yours? Oh. Anyways, all right, my next item, It's set, this one sat for a while, but I sold it for 90 and it's going all the way over to, uh, I think it's going to England, mm -hmm. and uh, what's really cool about this is like the buffalo plaid, with, um, it's this, this patch over here, Royal Sovereign. And what is I, that? I don't know, it's some sort of a company patch, and okay. um, this company's been in business since like the early 1900s because I looked it up and I priced it high because there was no other one out there that had a patch like this on it. All of them were just straight to Buffalo plaid, you know, um, CPO jacket, stuff like that. And um, this is actually from like the 1960s because that's the label right there. Yeah, I mean, this, this thing was gorgeous. I picked this up for, I think it was $3. And it's the same place I bought the Patagonia uh, Cintilla shirt that sold for Is that Woolrich very thick? Huh? Yeah, it's thick. Nice. So I paid, I bought two items there. I was there for 10 minutes at the store. I bought two items for like $6, and I, I made like a $160 profit off of both of them, so together. Um, and the next one is this Ralph Lauren. Um, this one went rather quick. This went like three days. Wait, that's Ralph Lauren? Uh, yeah, it's a cowboy shirt, denim. And, uh, that one actually went overseas too, to Germany. I've actually had a lot of sales overseas um, after having like a, I think like a month drought without having any uh, overseas sales. But I've been selling a lot overseas lately. Um, classic Western style with the pearl snaps. I try to buy like any shirt that's has pearl snaps on it. I don't know if you guys are the same. Yeah, I've been looking. I mean, I bought some like Wrangler and uh, 
I forget. I bought the Eli. Um, oh gosh, what is it called? Yeah, I bought one of those. It's been sitting for a minute though. It hasn't even had very many views. I may need to revisit it and check on maybe pictures or update the keywords or something or add some keywords. But yeah, I mean, I feel like that there are a bunch of different types of uh, of the pearl snaps out there, but I'm not sure which ones. Other than the obvious, which ones really are worth picking up? You know. Yeah. Now, um, you had you bought that Rock Mountain Ranch brand, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I'm gonna show you that one. I haven't listed it yet. But it's like really unique looking here. Oh yeah, that's like the bed. Yeah, so this whole thing right here that is um, buttons on and unbuttons. It's really cool. That is sick, dude. I like that one. I sold a, my rock mount within I think it was fifteen minutes for I think it was fifty dollars or eighty dollars. Yeah. I need to list it. I'll probably I'll probably list I'll probably list this. I'll probably list this one. <laughs> You there? there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna do my. You may want to mute that. Mute that. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I feel like it's competing with your. With your. Uh, yeah, you gotta. Uh, you gotta. Uh, you gotta mute the YouTube. That's that's not me. I don't have anything going here. Are you getting feedback? Might hear something. My ear is something. Yeah, I think Ronnie has headphones on. He can't hear that. Is that the TV behind you that's on, Ronnie? Yeah, but I can barely hear it. Barely hear it. Yeah. All right. I'll All just right. I'll just go through it. Go through it. Uh, All right, so I got this. Uh, this uh. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> it sounds like somebody sniffing in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. If you guys can hear any feedback, let's see that. I don't know what that is. Anyway, continue, Kevin. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so I got this. Right. I, got this uh, uh, I bought it for, for sixty nine on Memorial Day. Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I was in Goodwill the other day, and there were two ladies. Um, I don't know what their, what uh, where the, what country they were from, but she was looking at one of these shirts. I say fackinable. And if you look at the C on it, it has like a weird um, like a yeah. accent above it or something. And so the way that these two ladies were pronounced it was fashionable. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, and I was like, well, that makes that makes way more sense than fashionable. But anyway, I don't know what the uh, where the company is from, but I think it's pronounced fashionable. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a design. design. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, about two of them, two of them, two of them, two each. And I, um, I uh, went quickly. It went like two hours. The other one's still I was going to say, I see, for me, like when I first started, I was buying a lot of Ralph Lauren because Ralph Lauren will sell fairly quickly depending on what you buy, especially if you get like bigger size dress shirts that look nice or bigger size polos. The thing is, I was buying them for, you know, $5 for four ninety nine, and then I'd sell it for 25 bucks, kind of like the, this fashionable shirt. And it's like for me, it's just not enough profit, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, I have yeah. seen I've seen some fashionable stuff that looks really cool that I know will sell, but I see the shirts like that all the time, and I'm just so like, I'm so scared to pick them up. Not scared, but I mean, I'm just I feel like I could spend my money better elsewhere. But if you buy a lot of them and sell a lot of them, that's good money, you know. That's fifteen dollars, twenty dollars a pop. 
Yeah, that was just a yeah, quick, just a quick two hours, like two I said. Hours, like, I said, like, said like, for like 20 minutes. Like, but um, that one's been listening to it for now. Has a couple watches on. Watches on. It's got. It's not mainly white like this. It's mainly gray. Gray. Mhm. It's striped. It's not mainly white. Yeah, it's not mainly white. Yeah, it's not mainly white. Is it striped? Yeah, it can be. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I've seen the exact shirt right there in Goodwill before. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder too, like if you if you picked up, you know, say you're gonna you're gonna spend five dollars on the shirt, sell it for twenty five dollars. You're gonna spend three dollars on shipping, so that's eight dollars that you're into it. So what if you went and you bought Two of those shirts, or you bought three of those shirts, and then you sell them in the lot for sixty bucks. You spent, you know, twelve dollars, but you're—I don't know—I don't know if that would be. Yeah, that's a good option. Yeah, you know, just a, a better approach to brands like that that do sell but aren't, aren't extremely po uh, profitable. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good option. Good option. I might, I might try Ronnie, that. I might try that. Ronnie, do you ever do that? Do you ever um, put shirts in a lot that are similar if they're not terribly popular or they sit for a while? I have in the past. I have in the past. I haven't done it recently. Yeah, how does that work out? When I used to do it, when I used to do it, 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 it did alright. Nice. It sounded awesome. Sound awesome. Huh? Kevin, what are you doing, man? You're you're all quiet over there. Earth to Kevin. Kevin, what are you doing in the privacy? I guess I guess he's muted. I don't know what's going on. Put your hands up on the table. I can't hear you. I think he muted his mic or something. Just go on without me. Just go without me. <laughs> What did you do? Did you unplug it? So soldier down. Well, I'm I'm good. I'm done. I mean, I don't really have a lot. Of, I, if there are no questions in the YouTube, I mean, I just wanted to kind of show those couple of items and then share the, uh, you know, the idea on Amazon and kind of how to look up different categories and see the top 100 in there. Um, oh, I got you. I don't think it was you though, Kevin, that had the feedback noise. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to show for the moment, um, unless people have questions. I don't know. I, I don't even have the YouTube video pulled up to see if we have questions. Oh, hey. There you go. Yeah, I just yeah, had a. I just had a. I have. 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 I you guys to find the, yeah, I'm here. I'm trying to find the uh, our there we go YouTube video. All right, all right. And I sold these boutique loafers uh, for a hundred. If you see, I had I had You see that, Josh? You see that, Josh? Wait, you had what? I had nine hundred nine hundred uh, Gucci's. Jeez. Jeez. How long are they looking for? Not even a month. Not even a month. Oh, this month. This May 6th. Yeah, but a month in there. That's crazy, man. Yes, yeah, so I sold yeah, so I sold for 135. I made like 235. It's not bad. It's not bad. Nice. Oh, I was going to show another brand that I picked up. Um, let me grab a shirt real quick. Wonder why? That, wonder why? That. <laughs> hey, um, Josh. Hey, um, Josh. Yo. Sam says the way to pronounce fashionable is fashionable. Is what? Fashionable. Fashionable. S O N B B. Fashionable. Okay. Um, I don't have the shirt with me, but the brand is uh, Eton, E-T-O-N. I think Raken mentioned it before. Um, I want to say that that's actually how I found out about it, but if you look at the completeds for E-T-O-N, um, 
super, super, super pop, uh, profitable. And another one is, uh, which I think I, I feel like I showed you guys the Paul Smith. Um, I, I bought another Paul Smith shirt, and also one of them that was in that 28 brands to look out for that I did at uh, uh, Nordstrom Rack was Peter Millar, M-I-L-L-A-R. Um, so those are super. I haven't listed them yet. I just bought them yesterday. But those are three brands that you don't see a whole lot. It's kind of like the Robert Graham. Not quite as profitable, but pretty close. You know, you're looking at sixty, seventy, eighty dollars shirts. I got a. Um, I got a. Um, Peter Millar. Peter um, Millar um, cufflinks. Cufflinks. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where did so, you get that? Did, so, did you buy the cufflinks by themselves, or did you cut them off a jacket or something, or what? Oh, no, they're by themselves. Oh, they're by themselves. Nice, that's cool. Absolutely tough one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We got a couple of things. Look at them. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking in there now. Yeah, thoughts on Bonanza. Boomerang says thoughts on Bonanza and any other eBay alternatives. Um, I haven't messed around with Bonanza at all. I was really interested in Eleven Main. Because you're, the, the focus seems to be really building a customer base for your business and like having re repeat customers. Um, but I got rejected for that. I don't know what, what they're really looking for. I heard some people talking about it the other day what they want and what their requirements are, but I didn't meet them, so I got rejected for uh, an account. Um, but I think 11 main would be cool, but I don't know. I don't know anything about Bonanza. I haven't looked into it at all. I know Lynn Marie. Know Lynn Marie. Group. She, um, she accepted eleven new, like nine listing, and they accepted like they accepted thirty. Like, 30 and they denied some of the ones. Some of the ones you do with ties. I can. For some reason, your voice is like going in and out of volume. Like I can't hear. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out, and then I'm gonna come right back in. So send me an invite. Oh my gosh! Well, hold on. Let me figure out how to do, <laughs> how to do that from here. I should be able to just. I should be able to just. Right out. Right out. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't see the invite button, so I don't know if I'd leave. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I may have to get on. I don't. Even, man, I think since you started it, that I can't send the invite. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I may have to just um. Uh, Wait it out, I guess. I guess. Maybe. I wanna, I wanna have, you want to what? I don't know how I got the I feedback. How I, got the feed. I don't hear any feedback. It's just like, it sounds like you're talking and you're talking. And that's what it sounds like. You know. To me, I don't know if that's what people hear out there, but that's what it sounds like to me. Well, I know, uh, I know uh, if you leave the hangout, you leave the hangout. Come back, come back. Come back. But I don't know if that means I'm the host of it. I don't know if I leave. What if you have? What if you put headphones on? That's a good idea. Hold on. Because then there's no feedback at all. Just answer some questions. I'll be back in a second. All right. Let's see. Whoa! Each son of Sweden had three and got thirty each. That's way less than what I thought you'd get. Um, depending on what the shirts were, what what kind of shirts and the style. Um, yeah, Robert Graham Red Sox shirt. That sounds pretty, pretty profitable. The one I had was a purple, um, purple dress shirt, long sleeve, and it's the signature series that has like the design on the inside of the cuff, and it has the design on the inside of the collar. Um, the crazier the better, you know. People buy up that stuff that's really uh, unique looking. Yeah, man. The, yeah, uh, yeah, man. The, uh, yeah, I'm still getting yeah, feedback. I'm still getting feedback. That sounds way better to me. It does. It does. Yeah, way better. All right. All right. Anyways, yeah, Anyways, yeah. If you have that, uh, have that uh, Red Sox, uh, Sox uh, Robert Graham, uh, you could uh, send it my way. It's my, it's my favorite team. My favorite team. Dude, that's like perfectly clear now. Your audio is awesome. I hope it is. I hope it is. Yeah. I don't know. I have something, um, to, I have something to do with my end. Well, I think it was just like the the fact that you got speakers and a mic. It was like canceling out. In a cycle or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So five dollars shipped um, for the Robert Graham Red Sox shirt. That's what the auction. I guess we could do an eBay auction right here, right now. What do you mean? What do you mean? Cool Toad said he'll give. Um, 
he'll get Asmuth five dollars for the Robert Graham shipped. I'll give him ten. I'll give him ten. Ten. All right, we're up to ten now. What size is it? What size is it? I don't know yet. We're only hearing things twice now, <laughs> as opposed to five times, or what? Uh, Holland says yes. Holland says yes, dudes. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess, and and also one of the things that Kevin mentioned about, uh, or mentioned before we started the video was, how the hell do you stay positive when you're not having any sales and. For me, what I've what I've noticed is, and I'm sure a lot of you do this. Um, I go buy 20, 30, 40 items, and that sh and it sits for a week, two weeks. Um, I don't have any sales. I'm thinking about applying for a job somewhere and doing like a part time gig, and I like wanna you know I'm taking all the lowest offers, not lowest, but I mean I'm taking low ball offers sometimes here and there. Um, and for me, you just got to list because I'll list something and, you know, I'll list like five items and then two of them will sell the next day. And in my brain, I'm thinking, damn, I should have listed those, you know, two weeks ago and I could have sold them and bought six more that were just like it listed those. So it really comes down to just getting everything listed that you can and not letting it sit around. Um, I probably got, I mean, I did just buy stuff yesterday, but I probably got about 40 items right now that need to be listed. Um, and after having that experience, as many times as I have, you know, right now what I'm thinking is, man, I've got this Pendleton shirt, I've got a Patagonia shirt, I got Tommy Bahama shorts, I've got a Brooks Brothers shirt, and I know that stuff's gonna sell, and it's just sitting right there on the table. Like I got to get it listed, and you know, they're they're just gonna be kind of hit or miss. But the more stuff you have listed, I mean, that's just common sense. The more you got listed, the more you're gonna sell. So that's that's kind of what I've been doing, and and I watched another video. I can't remember the guy's name, and he was talking about how I think the title of the video was like how to prevent listing on eBay from being boring or something like that. What he says he does is he does he'll take 20 items and he'll do each part of of the listing, which is take photos, take measurements, and actually create the listing. He'll do each part for all 20 items uh, separately. So he'll get up and he'll spend you know, an hour, hour and a half, and he'll take all the photos he needs to take, whatever. If you got 20 items, you take five photos each, so 100, 120 uh, photos. Then when he's done with that, he'll get up from the computer and go, whatever, eat breakfast or do whatever he needs to do. Go, uh, I think he was saying he was, like, taking his dad to work or taking his kid to school and stuff, and then he comes back about 11, spends about another hour taking some measurements of the items he needs to measure, and then later that night, about six or seven, he'll like try to create all twenty listings. And I tried that, and for me that works. And I can list twenty to thirty items a day um, because I'm not trying to take photos, take measurements, and create a listing all in four hours altogether. Because I, it's just not how I, I don't work well that way. So um, I guess I would advise you to just play around with with different routines and different uh, schedules and see what works for you, and then run with it. You know. Yeah, I mean, right yeah, now, I mean, right now, um, um, I just I, I just, have the three kids. I I miss like I miss like seven seven. I try to do like seven to like seven a day because I'm I'm watching my kids watch most of the day. It just gets tough, tough sometimes. Sometimes, but the last yeah. three days, the last three days, 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 days. Uh, so I mean, if you do seven a day, that's roughly two hundred a month. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's not too. So that's I, not too bad. Like, the last three days, last I've, three sold, days like, I've sold like seven, seven, things. seven things, so I've done really so good. Done really I good. only have like, uh, have like I'm uh, about to hit 150 listings. 150 listings. Nice. Yeah, I think I only have 116, and I sell on average three three items a day, two to three items a day on average. Sometimes I sell six, sometimes I will sell one. Yeah. Yeah. I know. This yeah. week I'm gonna this do week a, I'm, gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go out to a few goodwills on Fugue. Sunday and try to spend a couple try hundred. Spend a couple hundred. Nice. See what I can get. See what I can get. Yeah, that's another thing I've been considering um, is I have, like, when I go to, to different thrift stores, uh, this one is from Salvation Army. This one's from Goodwill, and it's just basically schedules. So what I used to do was I would go shopping freaking five days a week almost, four or five days a week. Um, now what I've started doing 
is if I'm in the area or if I've sold a bunch of stuff one day and I'm like, hey, I got a lot of money I need to spend, you know, put back into the business, then I go shopping on any day. It doesn't matter because even the days that they're, they aren't having a sale, I'm going to buy a Robert Graham. I don't care if they could double the price on a Robert Graham and I'd still buy it. So there are certain brands that I don't care about being on sale. Um, but what I've started doing is just shopping like three days a week and then trying to do some other things like uh, – I say shopping. Going to thrift stores three days a week and then doing things like uh, yard sales, garage sales, flea market, stuff like that. So take take these and put them in your calendar so you know uh, every other Saturday and uh, Friday and Saturday at Salvation Army, they have 50% off everything in the store. So obviously I'm going to go on those days. Uh, Goodwill has a 50% off uh, the entire store twice a month here as well. They have – uh, all the different color tags listed, so you can see, um, you know, if you saw several shirts that were eight, that nine dollars, that were yellow tags, then yellow tags are going to be on sale in two days. Then wait, you know, or don't, depend on what brand they are. But, but kind of trying to plan that out a little more and do it a little, a little bit uh, less arbitrary and random, you know. Yeah, we never have yeah, shirt we never sales have over here. Sales over they here. don't do that. Oh really? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I thought that was like a standard thing, but I've kind of I've kind of heard different stories from different people. No, not around here. I mean, I mean, three of the goodwills around here have like colors of the week, and, uh -huh. and uh, there's a new there's one that they opened up that has like they don't have no sales, and they're just, just like the that's the one that went for like, from Memorial Day. They don't have no sales. They don't have sales for anything. Or color of the week. Or color of the week. Yeah. Yeah, on Saturday here, the the uh, there's one. It's called Arc A R C uh, Thrift Store. They have a they have five color tags, and every Saturday they have four of those colors on sale on fifty percent off. You're so lucky, so lucky. Yeah, and it's a huge <laughs> store, but I don't really find a whole lot in there. But it's it's a really big store, and you can get stuff really cheap. But you really got to look, you know. Well, I'm kind of excited. Well, this kind of excited. Saturday, we're gonna Saturday, we're gonna go to the um, um, what are you going to buy there? Gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come home with an alligator. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you should see the original, La like, original like, Lacoste dude. logo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, um, um Saturday's going to be like, Saturday, yeah, I really want to go Saturday. 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 She's like, oh, Saturday. 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 I'm like, whatever, I'm like, whatever. And then she said Sunday, I think all of my stuff. All my stuff usually is like super rare. Super rare. Yeah, so I'm gonna go myself yeah I, think that's myself. A, I think that's another good thing to point out about staying positive with it is to have some type of self care routine. You know, I I hiked a fourteen thousand foot peak a couple of days ago, and then yesterday I hiked up to the top of this other mountain, and then today I hiked up to a different mountain, and I went mountain biking. And for me, that's it's nice to like get into that routine where I'm done listing say 10 items by 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then I can go, you know, do my own thing and, and not feel bogged down, even though I don't have a whole lot of sales going on right now. You know, it's kind of slow for everyone, seems like. Some people not, but, um, you know, that, that helps me to stay positive and not really get down and out about not having sales. And it also makes me, you know, it gives me motivation to list. It makes me, like, feel fresh. And I'm like, oh, heck yeah, I'm going to go home and I'm bang out these five listings of these five Really high end brand shirts that I should have listed last week, you know. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I, um, last weekend, last man, weekend man, I seen like, like, them like, have them doing good at all. Doing good at all. And, uh, and I went out, uh, I went out Friday, Friday night, night, all night, night all night until like 12, like 12 in the afternoon the next day, day Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Uh, for Father's Day, just went fishing, you know, no kids, nothing. And it was, it was fun, man. I only caught, I lost a huge snook because I didn't have the hook right. Right. And then I uh, and then hooked I, on uh, to a barracuda, barracuda, but I pulled the hook out of his mouth. And, uh, and uh, but I mean, I still but, had so much fun. So I don't fun. know if it's because I've been fishing a while, but I definitely missed it. I missed it. I haven't fished in January. Yeah. January. Yeah. I mean, this this business is easy for me. It's it's ridiculously exciting to do this business. It's so fun to go shop and to list things, and then you know, while you're listing them, something that you listed. Two months ago, sales that you had priced ridiculously high, and you get excited about that. But there's a lot of times for me that I'm just kind of like, I'm just waiting, and I'm like, man, I'm doing all this work, and I'm not making any sales. And it's real easy for me to get used to just kind of waiting and not going to do stuff because I, because I might need to ship something out today, or I might need to, you know, answer this lowball offer, or 
or send a counter offer or whatever. So I'm like, I can't go in the mountains where I don't have any service. But to be honest, to just say the heck with it and go do that stuff, like, is is I think is very healthy for me um, in terms of running my own business. You know, being my own boss. Like, sometimes you just gotta really do what you want to do. And yeah, I, I, believe, I, I believe like you just you're, you're just, just gonna be like, just gonna emotionally, be like emotionally detached from eBay, eBay for a little while. Little while, while man, you just, man, you just you just gotta you, you know gotta, you know go out there and like there said, and you said, hike, hike and I fish and just, and just don't don't even think don't, about don't it. Think about it. You know, yeah. Yeah. I try not to, but I'm always like I'm always drinking my phone. You know, but you know, but yeah, I know. It's hard, man, but it's, you know, once you, the, the longer you do it, I mean, I've only been doing this for like five months, and that's actually another thing I wanted to, to talk to people about, which I kind of posted on Thrifting Lounge about how I've just recently started buying just better brands. You know, I mentioned the Ralph Lauren earlier, um, even Lacoste, like every Lacoste polo that I've ever bought has sold in a week, but you only make $12, 15 profit off of it, which is not bad. I mean, if you can find 10 of them, heck yeah, I'm going to grab them all and sell them but if I can spend five dollars on a Lacoste shirt or five dollars on a Robert Talbot, Talbot shirt where it's going to be a sixty dollar profit you know but the thing is they're not always there it's not always a choice of Lacoste or Robert Talbot or Robert Graham or Paul Smith so um, you know I just kind of I'll grab up everything in the store and then figure out how much I want to spend and I'll start getting rid of brands that are not going to bring me as much profit I uh, I'll, I, uh I'll to get back to what you were saying about, you're saying you know, about taking low-ball low offers, I've been lately, I've been uh, lately uh, the last two weeks, last two weeks the, uh, the, uh, by now, uh, sorry, the uh, best offer price, I'll, be, I'll, do, I'll, like, be, I'll do like a best offer of like, I'll take nothing less than like 10% when I'm looking for it. It's worked pretty well. So like every time I get a best offer now, I'm ready to accept it. It's like my minimum, I'll accept it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So you're setting it basically... The best offer, the lowest that, like your cutoff for the low ball is like ninety percent of what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. That's a good. I I, I do that too. Like if I got an item that I want to get fifty dollars for and I list it at sixty five, you know, I'll put my I'll put my uh, low at my uh, lowest for best offer at like forty bucks. You know, I don't even want to see it if it's below forty. Yeah, because I just hate yeah, I just seeing that stuff. Seeing it's, that stuff. It's, it's kind of depressing. It's Someone depressing. offers you Someone like offers an $80 you shirt, $5. $5. Like, yeah. There's no yeah. need for that. Yeah. You know yeah. you're not going to get you know it for $5. $5. Yeah, and, and the one thing that I kind of have done a couple of times is somebody sends me a super lowball offer, and I send them a, back a reasonable offer, and either they accept it or they counter offer with something that's a little less reasonable but still like doable, and sometimes I end up taking that. But if you have that automatically set to decline, then you know what what I've what I've noticed from two of my customers actually who told me um, was that they submitted an offer, it got declined, and they submitted a higher offer, and I saw the second one because it met my you know my yeah. lowest requirement, yeah. and then I was like, yeah, I'll take that for it. Yeah, and yeah, but the thing is that you don't want to keep going, going back and forth, forth with somebody with best somebody offers. You want to, you want to, you want to, um, you, wanna, um, <laughs> you don't want, you want to be what you want to be best offer. Best offer, you know. You know, it kind of keeps the customer happy. Customer happy. You know, right. you're, yeah. you're yeah. saving some money for them. You're getting more than enough to move it to the week you want the item. The item. Yeah, and another idea I had about the auctions was, say I have a shirt, I want to get thirty dollars for the shirt. Well. If I put the starting price at nineteen ninety nine, which I'll take, even though I want thirty, I'll take twenty four, and then uh, what? Have, I can't remember how I, exactly how I was thinking of it working. Oh yeah, just putting a really a much higher um, buy it now price, like a sixty dollar buy it now price, and then a nineteen ninety nine starting price. Then if people bid up to like twenty five dollars, they still think they're getting a really good deal, but you you would have taken yeah. twenty yeah. anyway. You know, it's like just I mean. That really plays into a lot of people's um, shopping psyche, I guess you would call it, um, where they just think they're getting a good deal, and th and they are getting a good deal because you know the Robert Graham shirt that I bought was two ninety eight retail and it was new without tags. Um, the other one I bought was I think one hundred and seventy six and it had tags on it, and they both sold for under a hundred bucks, so they're still getting a good deal. But if you can make people feel like they're getting a good deal, and you know not not do anything to to invalidate that after the sale either like 
they think they're getting a good deal, wrap the shirt up nice and send it in a nice package. You know, like that. That stuff helps a lot. I always, I always use, I always use stuff like Walmart. Walmart. I buy like the, uh, the, the gift wrap. Yeah, I just, just, yeah, just bought a just a like paper, it's paper. Brown. It's just brown paper. It's basically like a yeah. Yeah. wrapping paper. I have the white, yeah. white, the white tissue white white. Tissue paper. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah, get that at Walmart, yeah. you say? Yeah. Yep. It really, it it really, really, I've gotten actually got confidence from it, you know, you know? and um, I've and, actually um, had some actually requests, you know, um, you know, you know, you know um, gift wrap that, I'm not gift wrap, I'm not gift wrap on my, like, that's good, like, that's good. Nice. Yeah, do you have your, do you have the chat open in the... Yeah, I can't see, because this is what I can see right now. You ready? You ready? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's on my computer. That's on my computer. All messed up. I don't know what's going on. That's huge. No, do you see it though? It's like all messed Yeah, I see it. It's like pixelated. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm. I mean, I'm done. I don't really have. I'm done too, man. I'm done too, man. I just gonna see if my computer's okay. Yeah, because I have so much pictures on here. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I just wanted to yeah. say that I think the the questions in the group are awesome because they they're not all pertaining to any particular category. Uh, they're not all pertaining to just eBay. I mean, we're starting to get Amazon questions, some Etsy questions, stuff like that. So keep the questions coming. Um, and hopefully these videos, you know, I mean, if you look at the the like bar, we've got 11 likes and two dislikes, which is fine. But, you know, the people who dislike it, like send, post those questions in the group because it could be something we said that's totally wrong or it could be something that goes against what you have experienced, which is fine. Um, or it could be you just don't like my face or Kevin's voice or something. I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. But, but I'm just saying, like, post the stuff in the group. Like, whatever you got going on, whether it's a, uh, um, you know, a, a criticism or whatever. Like, I I like that stuff because I I feel like it helps me to be better at what I'm doing. But um, yeah, the questions in the group have been awesome lately. I've been learning a lot from the from the members, so I'm happy about that. But uh, thank but, uh, you guys for thank watching. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, feel free to like. Comment or subscribe, um, and then check out the Facebook group too. It's uh, I believe it's Facebook.com/groups/thethriftinglounge. Yeah, I'll have and a yeah, link. I'll have a link on the, link on the, on the, the, the video. video. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll put a link under the video as well. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, appreciate everyone watching, taking the time out of your day to do this, and uh, put up with Kevin and I for. 30 minutes, or it's actually been almost an hour. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad. No. Make sure you don't make sure you don't. Just, just, I'm going to stop it, all right? I'm going to stop it, all right? Okay. See you guys.